This is God speaking through David to the atheist. You would put to shame the counsel of the afflicted. The counsel refers to the truth about God. The afflicted refer to the believers whom they have sought to intimidate and badger and persecute and come against. They are afflicted because the atheist has risen up in his voice and has sought to bring much perversity and difficulty and affliction upon the godly. David says, you would put to shame, you would intimidate, you would seek to do harm to the counsel of the afflicted. Please note, they would put to shame not just the afflicted, the person, referring to the believers, what they hate is the counsel of the afflicted. What they hate is the mention of the name of God. What they hate is being told of their accountability to this God. What they hate is the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ, and they seek to put to shame not the messenger, but the message of God Himself. Make no mistake about this. They rise up in their unholy hatred against God Himself and the counsel of the gospel that we would bring. But note the complete antithesis. Note the stark contrast. But, but the Lord is His refuge. This refers to you and to me who are the afflicted of this world as all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You know, living in Seattle is a great challenge. This is not the buckle of the Bible belt, (laughs) y'all. There is much darkness. And it's not just from the clouds overhead. (laughs) There is a great moral and spiritual darkness in this land. And you are trophies of God's grace. And God has rooted you and planted you in a very important place where you are the remnant. You are those who are standing in the gap and who have been called upon by God to continue the work of God here. And as you look to your left and to your right, you do not see vast numbers of men and women standing with you for the cause of Christ. But you look up and you see your God and you are reminded that God plus one always makes a majority. And God is your refuge. God is your stronghold. God is your fortress, and it matters not how the atheist would rage against you and how liberalism that would seek to throw off any divine authority would seek to squeeze the life out of you. God is your refuge, and you can stand against any gathering storm that would swirl in this area and to bring opposition against your faith. In fact, the greater the storm, the deeper the roots of the tree grow, and no one can take God down. And when God is your refuge, you are immovable. 